Hi, my name is Richard Hicks and I'm the Technical Services Director for Celestix Networks. Today I'd like to introduce you to Direct Access. Direct Access is a remote access technology included in the new Unified Remote Access role in Windows Server 2012 R2, and it represents a paradigm shift in the way we deliver secure remote access. Direct Access provides seamless and transparent, always-on, bi-directional remote corporate network connectivity for managed Windows clients. Direct Access is not a protocol, however. It is a collection of Windows platform technologies that are collectively referred to as Direct Access. Direct Access leverages IPsec for secure communication, Active Directory and certificates for authentication, and IPv6 for network layer transport. IPv6 is not required to be deployed anywhere on your intranet, however. In fact, you don't have to deploy IPv6 anywhere to take advantage of direct access. Supported direct access clients include Windows 7 Enterprise or Ultimate Edition, or Windows 8 or 8.1 Enterprise Edition. Direct access clients and the direct access server must be joined to a domain, and in most deployment scenarios, a working public key infrastructure must be in place to manage the issuance of computer certificates used for authentication and IPsec encryption. The direct access configuration is managed using the Remote Access Management Console, or PowerShell, and is applied to the direct access server and clients using Active Directory Group Policy. Connection security rules in the Windows Firewall define the IPsec connections used by direct access to establish secure remote network connections. Direct access has several key advantages over traditional client-based VPN. Unlike client-based VPN, users don't have to install special software or proactively connect to the network when they need access to on-premises applications and data. When a computer is provisioned for direct access and it's outside the corporate network and has an active internet connection, a secure connection to the corporate network is established without requiring user input. This allows users to access applications and data outside the network in the same way as they do inside the network. So let's get a look at direct access in action. So here we have a Windows 8.1 Enterprise Edition client configured for direct access and it's installed on our corporate LAN. The user is going to access their data and applications in a fairly standard way. I have a shortcut to an application running on a web server on my corporate network. I can access my home drive so I can get to my files and so forth. And of course if we were to look at this from an IP connectivity perspective if I ping my domain controller, for example, I see that it responds via ICMP using IPv4. Now, if I take this particular laptop and I take it across the street to the Starbucks and I join the Wi-Fi network there, what does that experience look like from a user perspective? Well, let's simulate that, and I'm going to run a, a script that will take this test client outside of my LAN network and take it outside and put it on the public internet, simulating taking uh, a mobile device outside of the corporate network. Now you'll notice here that the client has received a public IPv4 address. So this is clearly demonstrating that this client is no longer on my corpnet, that it is outside, directly connected to the public internet. Now, what does this connectivity look like? Let's try to ping that domain controller once again, and you'll notice some interesting behavior. You'll see now that the name is being resolved to an FQDN, and it's also responding via IPv6. So this is the IPv6 that we talked about earlier. I didn't have to configure any of this. You don't have to configure any of it. Uh, it's all done for you automatically when you implement direct access. No IPv6 knowledge was required to implement this. But from a user perspective, again, I'm outside the corporate network. I've done nothing to initiate a VPN, yet I can still access corporate resources. For example, if I launch my shortcut to my line of business application, I can still reach this application, and you'll notice that I have done so using the same short name, the single label host name that I use inside the corporate network. I don't have to specify a separate URL when I'm outside. I don't have to log into a portal or use some other access method. In addition, I can still access my uh, corporate resources on my file server just as I was on the in the inside of the network. This is uh, to be clear, this is not a file synchronization service. I have physical network connectivity to the corpnet over direct access. So as you can see from a client perspective, it works very, very well. Very seamless, transparent, 
and uh, very easy user experience from a client perspective. As you can see, Direct Access is quite a compelling remote access solution. With seamless and transparent, always-on connectivity, users can be much more productive. Remote systems are better managed, and bidirectional communication opens up unique deployment scenarios that can improve the security posture of our remote devices. To help you get a direct access solution deployed in the least amount of time possible, and to ensure that it's done securely and according to best practices, be sure to check out our line of turnkey ready to deploy direct access appliances. Celestix Networks is the leading Microsoft OEM partner, delivering Microsoft Edge security and remote access solutions for nearly a decade. Our dedicated workload specific solutions will allow you to deploy direct access with confidence and with the best experience possible. If you're interested in learning more about direct access or hearing about how to quickly deploy a direct access solution by leveraging the advanced capabilities of the Celestix E-Series appliance, drop a note to sales at or visit celestix.com edge.